Hi church, hope you are good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I am Lindsay, a uh, South Location Pastor with my husband Matt and um, we are just so uh, privileged that you, you're joining us today for South Location. So we are going to pray and I'm going to just encourage you uh, with a couple of things um, to help us to pray today. Um, so the two scriptures that I just want to look at really quickly is Matthew 9.37 and John 4.35. And it says in Matthew, it says, this is Jesus talking to the disciples. He says, when he saw the crowds, he was moved with compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without the shepherd. Then he said to the disciples, the harvest is plenty and the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send the workers into the harvest. In John 4, 35, it says, Jesus again saying, do not say that there's still four months until harvest. I tell you, lift up your eyes and look to the field. They are ripe for harvest. You know, all of us want to see salvation after salvation after salvation for our friends, our family, our work colleagues. It's a, you know, we just want to see them know Jesus and come into the house of God. And, um, and in the South location, we are passionate about seeing um, new salvation, people coming back to God, coming to God for the first time. And we really want to see an increase in salvation in, in the South location. We want to impact the South of Manchester, see people saved, families restored, um, children, teenagers, you know, um, every generation coming into the house of God. And we, and that's what we're going to pray for today. Um, and we don't have to go very far. You and I don't need to go very far until we realise that, you know, it's our neighbours, it's the, the people at the school gate, it's our work colleagues. They are the ones that are lost and helpless and harassed. That is the harvest and the day of salvation is today. And um, last summer we took the kids um, strawberry picking, a very English thing to do in the summer. It was June, July and we took them strawberry picking you know, I thought it'd be an activity for an hour or so. Anyway, it was it was the height of the the ripe strawberry season. Ripe? Is that the, anyway, it was ripe for strawberries, and um, so we we got there and we filled two uh, tubs of strawberries within about fifteen twenty minutes, and we didn't move more than about a meter in from the strawberry patch. We just sat in one place and just pick these beautiful ripe strawberries straight off the stalk and put them into two tubs and they were full. The harvest was ripe, it was the right time. And the Bible says that the harvest, people are ready, they're ripe, they're ready to hear the good news. They don't have to go for miles and miles or have to searching for the lost, they're right on our doorsteps and in our world. And Jesus says, ask Ask the Lord of the harvest to send the workers. Ask him to, you know, send us out to, to, to reap the fruit of, of people's lives to come to uh, coming to know Jesus. When we started South Location um, just over a year ago now, um, one of the uh, things that I really felt God say to us was that you're going to see the prodigals come home. You're going to see um, seeds that have you're going to see the fruit of seeds that have been sown a long time ago. And so we are really believing for those prodigals. And we've already seen um, in this last few months just people coming back to church that have not been in church for a long, long time. And, and it's specifically people that maybe have grown up in Sunday school. So they were in church, but believing that they're going to come back to church. Or for those, maybe had a grandma that prayed for them a long time ago, but we're going to reap the fruit of seeing them in South Location. And so we want to pray for that as well this morning. So the, um, there's five things that I want us to pray for. One is um, the opportunity that we would see opportunities to share our faith in our everyday lives. Number two, that Jesus would open our eyes to see those who are ready to hear the good news in our worlds so that we're not walking through life with blinkers but are actually opening our hearts to see those that need Jesus. And three, to pray for self-location, for the lost to come into 
uh, into our church in the south and to pray for, for the growth of south location and for the prodigals to come home. So if you can pray with, with me today, that would be incredible. And thank you so much for standing with us today and praying. And I want to just pray for you uh, as we finish. Father God, I just thank you that the harvest is ripe in every one of our worlds. And I pray that you would open our eyes to see the opportunity to share our faith and to see the, the moments where we can shine the good news into their lives. And we pray that we would see um, a season of growth, of, of salvation across the life of the whole of Audacious Church. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. See you soon.